Before you found this video, you were struggling to make dialogue sound professional. After this video, you will have all the skills you need to make your dialogue pop with just three easy steps. And we're going to do it using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. Step one, mono. If you're capturing audio with a professional single channel microphone, you're already set. But if you're capturing audio from a smartphone, you're probably recording your dialogue in stereo. This is bad. This hurts intelligibility by spacing the voice across the left and right channels and limits the viewer's ability to focus on the dialogue. Here's how we're going to fix this. Let's start with a fresh project in Resolve. Next, let's add an example video to the media pool. Great, now switch to the Edit tab and drag the video onto the timeline. Right click on the video and select Clip Attributes. Navigate to the Audio tab. Take a look under Source Channel. You will see two entries for Embed Channel 1 and Embed Channel 2. Click the drop down on Embed Channel 2 and change it to Embed Channel 1. Click OK. All right, our source material is now mono, so we're ready to move on to step two. Step two, normalize. We're going to move over to the Fairlight view for the rest of the video. This is our digital audio workstation view. For this next step, we're going to normalize the audio, which means we're going to adjust the overall volume to reach a target loudness. We're not going to do this manually, we're going to apply this automatically to the audio file. Right click on the audio file and select Normalize Audio Levels. From the Normalization Mode dropdown, we're going to select Sample Peak Program. And for the target level, we're going to set the DBFS value to negative one. Then select Normalize. You'll probably see a big visual change to your waveform, as we've just adjusted the overall loudness to be one DBFS less than the peak loudness of zero. Let's move on to the last step, compression. Step three. Compression. Think of your waveform like mountain ranges. We see big mountains and we see little mountains. Ideally, we want all of our mountains to be around the same size. To achieve this, we're going to add compression. The first stage of compression will shrink the big mountains to be the same size as the little mountains. That's great, but then we'll lose all that loudness we gained via normalization. To compensate for that, we'll use gain to increase the compressed waveform so we have a nice, even set of peaks. DaVinci Resolve has a suite of built-in audio effects plugins to help us achieve this result. We're going to use a Swiss Army knife called the Vocal Channel Plugin. Over in the Mixer panel, locate the A1 track and click the plus sign next to the Effects label. Select Channel and then select Vocal Channel. This is a three-in-one plugin, high pass, equalizer, and compressor. We're going to be using the high pass and the compressor. We'll start with the compressor. Click the enable switch to turn on the compressor. First, we're going to crank up the ratio knob to cut down our taller mountain peaks so they match our smaller mountain peaks. Let's set it to seven to be really aggressive about it. Let's listen you'll see that the gain reduction indicator is working hard. This is shrinking our taller mountains. Next, we're going to increase the gain knob to make up for all the gain reduction we've applied to our larger mountains to bring the total waveform up in volume. I'm going to set the gain to 12 dBFS and make sure that it's sitting in the zero to negative six range in my output view. This is sounding great. We're almost done. The last thing here is to go ahead and enable the high pass filter. This is going to allow all of the audio frequencies above a certain range to pass through while blocking all of the lower frequencies. The lower frequencies are usually room noise or other sources of rumble that we don't want to boost with our compressor. So we need to eliminate them with this step. Use your ears to dial this in and make sure you're not cutting off too high or too low that you're causing the voice to sound thin. Well, that's a wrap.
Before you found this video, you were struggling to make your dialogue sound professional. And now, you're a dialogue editing wizard. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions or tutorial requests, let me know in the comments. I reply to all of my comments. See you next time.